Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to our Harmony Islands, where in the last episode, Rossi number two began her grand journey over to the center of the island to find a healing fruit that she heard a rumor of, though unfortunately, once she did finally get here, she found that she couldn't successfully harvest this fruit with her two big clumsy claws. So that's quite interesting, because it turns out they need a little bit more of a delicate hand, and that means that our sentinels, our warriors with their double claws, are not going to be able to use this healing fruit at all. They're kind of the ones who would end up needing it the most, too, because of all of the battles that they would end up getting into during their lifespan, but I guess if there is any silver lining in this situation, it's that Comey allowed Rossi number two to use the only nest in their entire camp to uh, give birth to her first and unfortunately only child. So Anime. Her name is Anime. She's technically Anime the second because um, a different mother actually named her child Anime as well, but she is very lucky because she inherited the immunity gene E from her father, so she is going to be extremely valuable to the pack, and I think uh, Komi is definitely going to try to keep a very close eye on her, at least keep her safe so that she can uh, benefit her tribe as well, because she's trying to help her family grow as it is right now. Now the one thing that I would definitely like to hopefully accomplish in this episode is um, finding Lazria mate because she is the one who has the lean body and I really want to keep that in her line in particular. So what I think we'll do is uh, bring her over to the Savannah pack. This pack over here where we're kind of trying to breed our little line of uh, fennec foxes again, because the lean body actually gives them a little bit of a uh, resistance, I believe, in the warmer weather. The lean body gives them a plus five in heat resistance, which means that she would do much better if she was in the um, desert or savanna tiles. So she's going to try to make a home over here with um, this family, and I think if Kirvan can manage to have a son with either of his mates, then um, what we'll do is kind of like betroth the two. So that his son will eventually take on um, Lazri as a mate. Oh, and before I forget again, because I never properly introduced you guys to Renair's baby from the last episode, um, she actually had a baby along with Rossi and all of the others at the very end, but I completely forgot to look at her, and her name is Lara. So Lara Croft has snuck her way into the game somehow, and she was being very, very quiet about it, but she looks almost exactly like her sister over here, Manara. The only difference, of course, is their eye color. Uh, Manara has blue and Lara has green, and of course Lara just has the normal sized ears instead of those large uh, fennec fox ears that were breeding into the side of the family. But she is adorable, isn't she? Sorry about that though, guys. That is totally my bad. We do need to move Anasi over to this side of the tree again because she um, needs to make sure that she can pick up all of the acorns that fall. There we go. There always seems to be an acorn on both sides of the tree so that both of our little acorn duty collectors can uh, pick up all of the acorns in the area. And then, let's see, we have Rarami over here who can pick up some of these berries. And then her sister, Kois, can also pick up some of these. Um, unfortunately, this area of the pack has become like the most sparse of all the land. And it's ever since Dukirta took over. Unfortunately, I really feel like his father was uh, better suited as a leader because since Dukirta has uh, taken control and kind of led the pack off to uh, this tree up here to explore, everyone kind of scattered. So he is having a little bit of trouble leading everyone right now. Um, thankfully, the bird has not been in our skies in a very, very long time. I don't see any of them up here. So we could probably move one of these mothers away to uh, go pick the berries. In fact, it probably should be Cease. If she can get there in time, she'll come over here and then uh, pick up these. And we'll just sit her right there for now and make sure that Anacor is um, right by these babies right here, though she is also very close to the end of her life. So we want to keep a close eye on that too. In fact, what we might do is move uh, Dukirta a little bit closer as well, just so if she does pass away soon, um, the babies won't be left completely unprotected. Now, Lazri, why don't you begin moving this way for us? Um, you could actually use these tiles right here just so that you don't get even more sick. Um, let's see, we'll move you right here and keep you out of that swamp land. I suppose we'll just have Rossi number two sit with her baby for now, just so that she can kind of uh, get to know her while she still has the chance. So she'll stay right there on the nest. Um, Cece, let's see, what could we do with you? Why don't we have you go to this grass and kind of peek around here? Um, it doesn't seem like anything is rustling in the area, so I think she'll be safe for now. Um, and I think we probably want you guys to start breeding over here as well. So Kirvan can come over here and breed with um, his mate, Anair, and then he can also breed with um, Renair again. Though let's just make sure 
Um, okay, our mutation menu was a little bit mixed up, so hopefully that's not going to um, alter that baby. Well, let's see if we can change this again. I believe we wanted to have, of course, the big ears in here. Um, there's the big ears. We'll place them in the 30% slot because we definitely want our fennec foxes in um, this part of the pack. And then we'll place the lean body in here too just so that we can hopefully get a head start on that. Now we could move the original Anime out of this nest. She could sit right here and uh, peek in some of this grass, some of this lingering grass over here that could possibly spawn some uh, nasty critters. We'll move her mother right over to um, her typical nest. And then I believe we actually might want Renair. Well, you know, I guess we could have um, Manara come up here to protect her little sister. And then Renair could um, breed again with her mate. There we go. And then she could use this nest up here in the next turn if she had to. But Kiravan, why don't you pick up some of these acorns for us? Um, we have this unfortunate um, cactus. Oh, look at that. Can we actually get rid of the cactus now? Oh, okay. So maybe we'll want to do that. Unfortunately, I have a feeling it's still going to harm us if we do that, though. So we probably want um, somebody else to do that in particular. Like, we don't want a Nair harming herself on the cactus while she's just about to give birth. So I think we'll leave that there for now, but we will um, take a look at that very, very shortly. For now, though, she could at least pick these berries. Like, that wasn't the berry bush, right? Yeah, that's definitely the cactus that that little icon is on. Okay, so we can get rid of the cactus now. That is definitely definitely a change from uh, the last update. Now let's see, is there anyone else who needs to use their turns? Um, we have a couple of things over here that we could possibly do, just little berries to pick and whatnot, which is always good because we are getting um, a little bit lower on food than usual just because of all of the exploring that we've been doing. Um, Comey, why don't you come down here, pick up these berries for us and peek in some of this grass? There we go, and then I believe that might be just about it. Um, all I could possibly do is move to Vanku right here so that he can pick both of these berries. And then I think we're good. Um, unfortunately, Anami is going to be um, left unprotected after this turn, so we'll have to scoot her around very, very quickly just in case the bird comes back. I feel like he probably will come back very, very soon just because of all of these little tiny critters that we have um, running around in our pack right now. But let's go ahead and skip the turn. Oh, Rossi number two. Oh, I feel so bad for you. And did somebody pass away over here too? I think somebody may have. And we have rustling grass over here. Oh my goodness. And bunnies all over the place. Oh gosh. Things are getting hectic again, guys. Um, first and foremost, we do need to protect this little baby. Why don't we just move you um, right here? And did this thing move? Um, it may have. It may have actually moved. Oh no, this is not good. What if it's um, one of those males, actually? What if they're going toward poor Lazari and Cece? Oh gosh, okay, so let's see. Renair, you could actually um, jump in here. It is! Oh no, it is! But look at you, you have the gray fur. Um, let's see, do you have a special gene? No, just G and A. I don't think, um, I don't think we need those, do we? Yeah, most of them have G, and I think, um, some of them have A. I mean, A is a little bit less, um, common in our pack right now, so A might be okay. I mean, we could possibly have him breed with somebody. He does have the lean body, too, and it does seem like he's probably eyeing up these females right now. I mean, should we just give it a try? I know a lot of you guys always tell me to just get rid of these males, but I feel like it could possibly benefit us just because it would be a baby who is not related to um, any of the males in our pack currently. So let's see what he does. For now, we'll attack him with Renair just to kind of um, harm him a little bit, just so that his life isn't, like, really, really long so we won't be wrecking havoc on our entire pack, um, but let's just keep an eye on who he could possibly get to. I mean, I think um, Anera is safe just because she's with her baby right now, right? And I mean, honestly, Kiravan could really smack him if he gets too close, so she'll be safe. She'll be perfectly fine. But this baby, Mikoko, oh my goodness, look at that, the big ears and the ram horns. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. How is your strength a six in strength? Okay, that is going to be very, very good for us. All right, so let's see. Why don't we have, um, I'm keeping a very close eye on that. We could also, um, actually have Devon here poison him too, if we wanted to. So that's a possibility, just so he doesn't completely wreak havoc on everyone in our pack. So why don't we have Anime, um, go ahead and peek in this grass. 
Um, I feel like he probably moved into the darkness, didn't he? That's a little bit worrying. Um, oh no, he moved right there. Okay. Okay, we're going to keep a close eye on you. Um, Tavon, why don't we have Tavon move right here just to light up the area a little bit more? And then uh, you can pick this berry. There he is. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, Lazri. Well, this isn't exactly what I had in store for you, but um, we'll have Tavon Kier poison him as he unfortunately breeds with Lazri. And then we'll see what sort of baby we get from that, I guess. And then you can do the honors and just get rid of him. So we have one baby from that wandering male and we need to get her to a nest so that she can uh, give birth to that one And hopefully it'll have immunity gene a in there somewhere um, It looks like I mean it is a possibility that it could have double G's which would be like the worst situation But honestly, I mean it's worth a try. It's worth a try for science. We'll just say it's for science um, Now let's see we can pick up these acorns right here um, We could have actually a nair knock some more down for you so that you guys could uh, go ahead and pick up the rest of them. There we go, because we did use a lot of food trying to get rid of this guy, so we might as well um, pick up all of the food that we can. Let's have Lara sit right here so that she could help out as well. Um, while she's still a little baby. And you guys have actually said that um, the bird can't pick up the babies when they're under the tree. Is that true? Because if it is, then this is an excellent place for um, all of these nests because then our babies would be very, very safe. Now, why don't we start moving Lazri this way? Um, she can kind of scoot toward the uh, savannah just like she was before. Um, I guess we'll sit her right in this nest right now. And then on the next turn, Renair will be able to uh, sit in this nest as uh, we were planning on before. Thankfully, she was already um, pregnant, so she was wasn't in danger at that point. But let's see. Um, I know there's a bunny right in here too, but I'm not sure if we have anyone near enough to really do anything about it. Um, we do need to get Comey to a nest as well, so why don't we sit you right here? Thankfully, she is so fast that she could just scoot over with no problem whatsoever. And now this side of the family. Um, let's see, we want to change your gem over to blue. I do know that we want to change your gem over because you were um, the daughter of Cease, I believe. So her gem needs to be blue. And what about your gem, Taku? Let's see, you are the son of um, Anakor, I believe. So yours should probably be blue as well. Okay, we'll change this over to blue. And that matches his eyes perfectly, doesn't it? This guy is gorgeous, honestly. I love that gray fur that he has. And with the ram horns, it just makes him look like really majestic. Like he belongs in some snowy mountain or something. Um, Rarami is getting very close to the end of her life as well. Um, unfortunately, a lot of these guys are. A lot of them are going to be passing away soon over on this side of the island. And that's particularly um, sad for us right now because I really want to just increase the numbers on this side in particular. So let's see, maybe we could do that. We'll have Dukirta breed again with um, Cease. And should we swap around any of these? Let's see, how do we want these babies to look? Um, I suppose we should probably try to keep the ram horns on this side of the island in particular because this is where um, our last remaining royalty is. So we'll put the ram horns in that slot and then what should we do for the second one? Why don't we try mutating the eyes this time? We'll try to start mutating the eyes just so that we can hopefully get um, some different eye colors too. So let's see, we'll have him come up here, breed with his mate, and then she can scoot to the nest in um, the next turn, I suppose. And then other than that, I think we might be done with them. Um, we need our acorn collectors, of course, to do their duties as well. Um, Komi the second is going to need a mate pretty soon herself. We're going to try to uh, keep that berry pot in her line. We just need to figure out who she is possibly going to breed with. And then let's see, Cece, um, I suppose you could do a little bit of exploring. Oh geez, that left a really, really big dark spot over there. That's not good. Um, we don't want to leave the babies unprotected though. So Tavon, why don't you go right here for us? Um, hopefully that'll light up the area a little bit and then Tavon Kier can sit here. So many Tavans on this side of the island. It's like Tavon Ku really named all of his sons after himself. And then this bunny, this one lone bunny just sitting there watching us. Um, let's peek in this grass. And I think that might be about all that we can do unless we move Manara right here to pick up this acorn. <laughs> the bunny just scooted off into uh, the beach, I think. He's probably going after this berry bush, though. Um, so we'll have to see if we can deal with him on the next turn so that he doesn't scoop up all of our extra food. But other than that, I think we're good. So let's go ahead and uh, skip the turn. Watch for any skeletons. Um, I think we're okay right now. Oh no! Oh no, Taku, why are you sick? Why are you sick right now? That is not good. You are gorgeous, and I definitely want to uh, make sure that we have a mate for you. So we don't want you uh, getting sick. But look at this baby! Oh my goodness, Miana. 
I feel like we've had that name before too, and it looks like uh, we did unlock, yes, the next uh, eye color. Okay, so we can start uh, moving up the ladder on the eye colors, and maybe, maybe we'll even be able to uh, unlock this one. It only appears through random mutation. Some of you guys already know what this eye color is, but I won't spoil it just in case you don't. Um, but I'm really hoping that we can get that one too. Now let's see. Um, unfortunately, she did not get immunity gene A, so that didn't really work out for us. Um, she does have one no paw, which is a little bit unfortunate, but she has the claw too. So she's kind of like um, Rossi number one with the one no paw and the claw. Though thankfully, she did manage to inherit the ram horns instead of the spit snout. So she's even um, a little bit stronger than Rossi number one was. Now we want Renair to move over to, oh my goodness, this nest where she can um, reclaim it from the bunnies apparently. All of these bunnies, oh my gosh. Okay, so we need somebody else to go up there to uh, hopefully help her out. Let's see, um, Manara, could you possibly scoot up here and do so? We'll have you sit right here. And then if that bunny comes out in the area, I'm not sure if he will because it looks like he's just snacking on this bush right now. But if he does peek his little head out, then we'll have her um, grab the bunny for us. Oh my gosh, wait a second. Oh, look at this baby. Is that a black mane? Oh, that is so cool. I'm so used to seeing the brown mane that seeing a different color on here is really striking. His name is Roducro and he has the ram horns too, which is really cute. I really like this guy. Oh my gosh, he is gorgeous. He is like a little warrior of his own, but um, he will be able to move a little bit faster and he could possibly pick up that uh, special fruit if he needed to. And let's see, we didn't have any babies over here, but we will on the next turn when we move Cease to this nest. And um, the rest of them, I guess, can just pick up their um, berries and whatnot. Um, Dukirta, unfortunately, can't. He can't really do much of anything at the moment. It's really um, unfortunate because he is just having such a rough time over here, keeping track of all of his uh, little pack mates, his own little family. He's definitely not thriving as much as um, his own father was. Now let's see, I think that's about it for um, babies here. It doesn't look like there's any other babies for us to look at. I always end up forgetting at least one of the babies because we have so many um, being born on the island at once but I think that's good. We just have to collect all of our food like usual. Um, we're still just barely over 100 pieces, so it would be nice to um, maybe get some rainfall in here. I mean, it's been a long time since it's rained. Um, Anir, why don't we have you scoot right over here? Um, unfortunately, we haven't had a sunborn yet, which is what I was hoping for in this episode, so why don't we continue breeding these two? Um, let's see, we'll switch around this a little bit because, of course, we want the big ears in here for them. We have to have the big ears. And I guess I'll leave that there for now. We might as well continue with um, the eye colors since we're doing pretty good so far. We'll have them breed. We'll have Mikoko sit right here next to her sister. And then um, Anir... Oh, look at that bunny. Can I actually, maybe I should jump down here. Oh no, that was her last turn. Oh no, okay, so maybe on the next turn she'll be able to grab him and then she can sit in the nest. I should have noticed that that was her last turn, but um, I got too excited to possibly grab up a little bit more bunny meat. Now Cease, why don't we have you peek in this grass right here? Oh my gosh, <laughs> these bunnies are so cheeky though. They are so, so bold. Once they know that you can't get them, they just go hopping right under your little critter's feet. But let's have Cece peek in this grass. Um, actually, look at that Tavankir. You can come over here and grab him instead. There we go. And look at you. Look how gorgeous he is now that he's fully grown. Oh my gosh, I love this family in particular. They are giving us some really nice babies. Um, we do need to start pairing them off though. We need to figure out who's going to be moving where. Um, even Minara is fully grown too, so she'll be able to uh, possibly move over to this side of the island, I think. She might move over here and maybe she could have a baby with Taku at some point. Maybe that would be a good idea. Um, we'll see if their genetics line up properly, but let's see, we probably want Lazri to uh, sit um, very close to her child so that the bird doesn't get her. Though the bird is still gone, I'm really surprised that the bird has been gone for so long. Usually that doesn't happen. Um, I suppose what we could do instead is have Kiravan move right here, just to protect all of the babies, and then Lazri can come over here and start exploring a little bit more. We'll have, um, Minara do the same, and I think, um, we might be just about out of turns here. We could just have Anami sit right here so that she can look in that grass in the next turn, just to get rid of it, just so it's not sitting there, um, all the time. And I think that's good. So we'll go ahead and skip the turn now. Oh, wait a second. We should probably move a Komi out of the nest. We'll move her right here so that her baby can grow. 
and then I will skip the turn here. Oh my gosh, Anasi! Anasi, I didn't realize you were getting so old. Oh, that is so sad. I bet Comey did though. I bet Comey the second was very, very much aware of how old her mentor was getting. Oh, that is so sad. Oh my gosh, so we need somebody else to uh, help Comey pick up all of these acorns, but first, first we need to see what is in here. Um, who is going to do the honors? Let's see, we probably want Kiravan to do it. We'll have him go right here. Oh, not again, not again. This is not good, and he has two Gs, no way. No, no, no way. Okay, so Cece, come down here, get out of there. Um, we want Tavon here to scare him away, um, poison him, no. <laughs> No, this is not good. Oh my gosh, he is going to completely destroy this line of the pack. No, I don't think hitting him is really going to scare him away. Like, we literally have to have Comey and her daughter just run, <laughs> run for their lives. Um, We'll have Cece go over here. We'll have Comey run over here. And then the little baby, Roducro, can hit him. Oh, but that's still not enough. Like, he is going to get to Cece. He is definitely going to get to poor Cece. Um, okay, so Tavon... You could at least go over here. Yep, he got to CC. Oh my gosh, you can go over here and hit him again. Oh, CC, I'm so sorry. We were just one move away from protecting you. And I guess this baby is definitely going to be sick, huh? I can't imagine that it's not going to end up with them um, double immunity genes. We are having some pretty rotten luck with those wandering males today, aren't we? Okay, so we need to get her to a nest pretty soon. But first, we may as well look at some of the babies that were born. Um, some of the more healthier babies. Oh, and look at that. We have another black panda, too. The line of black pandas continues. Miko, which is adorable, and she at least has immunity gene A. I'm a little bit disappointed that it wasn't a male, but we still have time. We still have time to come up with some sort of male for um, Lazri to hopefully breed with. But look at this guy, Vanro. This is a male. Oh my gosh, and he has the giant ears like we were hoping for on the other side of the island. It must have gotten mixed up a little bit with um, the mutation menu. He looks gorgeous too, so we could find a place for him for sure. But first, why don't we have um, Anair move over to this nest so that she can give birth in the next turn. Um, her little baby was actually all alone over here too, so good thing we moved somebody over. Um, we can have Anime peek in this grass, and then we can have her um, move over here to pick up some acorns for us. Um, it looks like this little baby, Lara, can also pick up a couple of these acorns too. And we have a lot of acorns. Thankfully, this part of the island is very, very plentiful, so as we're kind of building our numbers here, we're also collecting enough food to sustain them. Now let's start having Minara move um, this way. We'll have her start making her way to the other side of the island since she's getting older. And um, we also probably want these guys to start picking up their berries too. I am so sad for Cece. Oh my gosh, she was running for her life, but it just wasn't enough. Um, pretty soon we'll be able to move Ruducro out of the nest though, and then she can have her baby too. And we'll cross our fingers that it's not um, a really rotten luck baby. Let's change some of these gems over as well. Um, it looks like they're getting older too, so that's good to see. By the time Minara comes over here, I think Taku will probably have grown, so they could have um, a baby right away. And Rarami, oh my goodness, this is probably your last turn. I wish we had somebody to uh, breed you with, but I'm not sure if we do. Nobody will get here in time anyway, of course, because her life is going to be ending on the next turn. Now, Anami, your gem should actually be changed over to orange, I believe. There we go, because of course we want her to carry on the gems of her mother. And I think for now, what I'll do is I'll sit her right here. It's kind of funny because this tree has become like the spit snout tree, hasn't it? It's like there's always two spit snouts underneath this tree now. It's almost like it's a little spit snout clubhouse. <laughs> I can kind of imagine them making a little tree house here that says spit snouts only on it. But um, we can gather up the acorns with them and they can at least um, stay there for now. We'll have enemies stay there just until we can find them a suitable mate for her. And this poor baby is all on her own. Oh my goodness. Let's have you sit right there. We'll have her sit underneath the tree so that she is well protected. Well protected from uh, that bird wherever he happens to be. And we really need to explore this area more. That is the moral of the story. We need to have um, all of this grass cleared out so that hopefully those males will leave us alone. Um, I hate using the females so close to the grass, but that's about all we have um, at the moment. Unfortunately, Tavankir is far too um, tired to go exploring for us, but I think that might be just about it. Um, we could move Rainier out of the nest at least so her baby can grow. 
And then I think we'll go ahead and skip the turn. Um, maybe we should actually have Komi breed one more time. Yeah, because she is getting very close to the end of her life as well, um, along with Tavanku. He's about halfway through the end of his life too. So once again, let's just scoot around these things in the mutation menu. We want our orange fur here. We want um, our poison fangs here. In fact, let's swap these around so that we can hopefully like really get a good shot at um, mutating that orange fur. We'll have them breed, and then um, in a couple turns, we'll have to sit them on the nest. They kind of have to take turns, unfortunately, because um, Cece had her situation today. But let's see, there's a bunch of turns that we can use here. Um, Dukirta, why don't you come out here to explore a little bit more? There we go, just light up the way at least, and then the babies can kind of do the same, since um, they're safe right now from at least the wandering males. Um, Taku, why don't you sit right here for us? There we go. And then Kois, we want you to stay right next to the berry bush. And uh, Cease is going to have to stay next to her child. But there we go. We spread them out a little bit at least so that it's a little bit less dark in the area. Though if we had a few extra critters, then we could move them back up to this tree to uh, explore a little bit more looking for nests. But for now, let's go ahead and skip the turn again. Oh my gosh, Rarami, that was you. Poor Rarami. Um, and there is that rustling grass again. Please do not be another one of those males. And even over there... Oh my goodness. Okay, so Tavankir, jump in here. What was that? What on earth was that? That was a bird? Is that that other bird that you guys have told me about? I think it's like a Dodomingo or something? Oh geez, that's going to be interesting. We haven't seen that bird yet and I've been kind of surprised. Um, now what is over here? Hopefully it's just a bunny. There's two of them too. Oh no. Um, let's see. I don't know if Kirvan can make it there fast enough. And he might have to protect uh, the pack from this crazy bird too. So Rainier, you're going to have to be brave for us. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Does this spit snout think that she is a carnivore? I mean, she kind of looks like a carnivore, honestly. Um, this is interesting. Okay, so Masiko, what are you? Look at you! You have immunity gene D? Oh, that is excellent! Okay, she has the blind eyes and her recessives, but we've been doing okay with that, so I think um, that should be safe. Oh my gosh, but she looks just like a carnivore. What is this? <laughs> the carnivore has taken on a little family of its own. Oh my gosh, well, we kind of need to get rid of the carnivore. Like, that is really important. So let's go ahead and uh, slap you and um, get Rainier out of the way. Um, oh my gosh, and this is that bird. Okay, let's get a better look at the bird, too. Look at you. Look at this guy. Yeah, it's a Donamingo. Oh my gosh, this guy is kind of adorable, all things considered. It's like a little turkey of some sort, I guess. And supposedly they steal nests. So that's a little bit concerning. I've been told that they are very, very hard to kill. They only give you one piece of food. Um, so it's not really going to help us out very much. And look at that, it has um, five squares of eyesight too. That's interesting. I didn't realize that Donamingos had stats. Do the carnivores have stats? Oh my gosh, they do. I have never clicked on that before. <laughs> I guess that's good to know, but uh, we need to figure out how we're going to deal with this. Um, Masiko, let's see, you really don't have um, any attack strength. You actually can't attack this guy either, so despite how much you look like a carnivore, you are not going to be very helpful in this situation. In fact, she has the lean body, so that might be why. She can move so far, but she unfortunately can't attack. Um, let's see, who can attack here? Let's see, enemy, you could attack. Um, if you could only get to him, you could go around this way. Oh my goodness, wait a second. This guy is going to steal our nest, isn't he? This is not good. Um, let's have Lara pick up this and then scoot into this nest so that um, this bird can't sit there. And then we're going to have to have the baby sit right here and like protect every single one of these nests from this crazy bird. Um, and there's so many bunnies hopping around right now. Oh my goodness. So let's have Anime slap this guy. Um, unfortunately, it wasn't enough, so she is probably going to get a little bit hurt on the next turn. Um, but is there anyone else who can get here fast enough? I mean, this was the only problem with our sentinels, is that they can't really move um, very quickly. So I don't think Kirvan can get there in time. Um, Anair is not really that strong, is she? Well, she has a foreign strength, so she might be able to um, at least land one hit. Let's see, we'll have her land one hit. Oh no, and it's just at the end, just at the end. If we only had one more creature, but I think we've basically like used up all of the space around here. Let's have Masiko at least clear out a little bit of this grass for us and then she can just like 
run away to the center of our pack so that she can join us. But um, other than that, I think that's about all we can do for this carnivore, which is a little bit upsetting. So he is definitely either going to hit a Nair or Anime in the next turn. We'll just have to keep a very close eye on um, which one it happens to be. And now, unfortunately, we have this unprotected baby yet again. Um, but thankfully the bird is not in our skies yet, so I'll just cross my fingers that um, it stays that way. And this crazy bird is just lurking in the grass right now. I mean, should I try to attack it just to see what it does? Um, we'll just see what it does. Oh my gosh! Did you hear that? <laughs> it just screamed. It just screamed. Okay. So we did poison it. Tavankir poisoned it because he has those poison fangs. So I guess that means that bird is not going to be uh, lasting very long out in the wilderness. And uh, this crazy bunny is just hopping around too. We'll peek in this grass a little bit. Um, Let's see. Yeah, it is poisoned. So maybe it'll leave us alone. Maybe it'll stop trying to steal all of our nests. Um, we'll go ahead and peek in this grass right here though. And Minara, we want you to continue making your way off this way, especially as this bird is trying to beat us to the nest. Um, in fact, we might want to have somebody sit there. Um, I guess we could keep an eye on it. I mean, it's pretty far away. So as long as we know that the bird is in the area, then we should be able to stop it from taking the nest before it's too late. Lara can pick up this acorn at least. We're at 70 pieces of food now. Oh geez. We used a lot trying to uh, take care of all of those situations. Let's pick up the berries. Um, let's have you sit over here so you can help us too. And um, of course, Morocco with her berry paw, that should be very helpful. We still haven't had a single rainfall. And it's been so very long since all of our berry bushes have um, been able to grow. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that. Hopefully we're not in the middle of another one of those droughts. Now we want Cece and Comey to take turns um, having their babies here. We should probably have Comey have her baby first since she's um, closer to the end of her life. So we'll move Reducro out of the nest. We'll move Comey right here. And then um, she'll be able to have her baby. And then let's just watch this carnivore here. Let's watch the carnivore and see which one he decides to hit. Um, none of them? Okay. Okay, there's nothing wrong with that, I guess. And all of this wrestling grass again. Oh my gosh, it is coming right back. Um, let's take a look at the next baby, though. Oh man, still no orange fur. Still no orange fur. Though this one actually has, um, the berry paw from her father. Maresi, okay, and she has the violet eyes too, which of course I absolutely adore. We're having the violet eyes pop up in our random locations now. And she has B. B is pretty good. Um, a lot of our creatures don't have B at this point. So there we go. That's not too bad. I'm a little bit disappointed that it is so hard for us to mutate that orange fur, but um, I guess we'll get there eventually. And now let's officially take care of this carnivore. Let's have Anime slap him. Let's have Renair pick up this bunny for us. There we go. All of this meat, this carnivore meat, this bunny me that is going to replenish our stocks a little bit at least and i think that is about it for this episode because that was a crazy crazy end to this day <laughs> at least we have a new pack mate though and now we'll have to uh, figure out who she's going to breed with before she gets too old because she is a uh, quite old our new little carnivore i mean she looks almost exactly like the carnivore and we are supposed to be getting hybrids someday so <laughs> maybe this is a little bit of a teaser for us but thank you all so much for watching today and i'll see you all next time. Bye guys!